hey everybody, this is very different to the kind of stuff that we normally put out on Transport Evolve Take 2, but it is still a behind the scenes video and hopefully it will help other people who have the same problem in the future. What you're seeing here is the Zoom F2 field recorder. It's a fairly new audio recorder from Zoom. It is tiny and I do mean tiny. You can see it next to the lav mic there and it is a professional 32-bit field recorder. 32-bit float. That means you don't really have to set volume levels. At least you don't really have to worry about them in the field. I'm not going to explain what 32-bit float recording is here. Suffice to say, it's effectively almost like the raw video or raw photo mode, but for audio. And when we're on the road, we use these because they're easier to use in more flexible situations than our Deity lav mic kits with our radio kits that we have. The Deity microphones are awesome. We have a set of Deity transmitters and receivers and we use those when we absolutely need the best audio quality we can because they're capable of outputting a really high quality audio signal that our F6 portable field recorder can record at up to 192 kilohertz and 32 bits. We don't really need it though most of the time. So when there's more than two people on camera or when we need just a really robust set and forget microphone, we use the lav mic and the F2 field recorder. The field recorder has a screw terminal for the, for the input for the microphone. So you can't easily pull the microphone out and that's another bonus. You wouldn't believe the number of times we've had microphones pulled out when we've recorded. And so it's very robust but it does have a couple of bugs. And one of them is because it's so simple to use, you can sometimes screw up the recording. Now what you're supposed to do is switch this little knob here from off to on, wait for all the lights to do their flashy thing. And then you hit the red button in the center to record and that makes the red light come on. And then you slide to hold, which means that nothing you touch will affect the recording. When you're done with the recording, you then slide back to on, wait a few seconds, hit the red button again, wait a few seconds and turn it off. But sometimes the F2, we have the F2 BT, the Bluetooth variants, sometimes they don't always finish recording properly and it can result in a corrupted audio file. So to the thing I was going to show you, this is the zoom recording directory from a recent recording that we did on the road. This is from one of our team. This is microphone two. This is microphone four. And you'll see that on November 13th, we had a nice about half a gig file recorded. And this is the audio from one of the team. There were four people on camera. This is the audio from one of them. And this is how it should be. But if you go over to the SD card for the fourth microphone, you'll see that it's missing a couple of audio files, right? So there's nothing recorded on um, the 13th at all. And that disturbs me somewhat because there should be an audio file there. And the person whose microphone it was tells me that yes, they did turn the microphone on and yes, the red light did illuminate. Now it could be that their batteries ran flat and I think that's probably what happened. And so, the end of the recording wasn't properly captured, but because it's a digital audio device and because there's no buffer memory to speak of, there's probably a little bit, but not a huge amount, everything gets recorded to disk as the audio device is in record mode. The only difference is that it didn't finish recording and so it didn't finalize that audio file. But the good thing is you can find it. So what you need is a terminal. I'm on Mac OS here, so I'm gonna use my terminal and I'm going to tell it to change directory, that's CD. And I'm going to drag this file over here to settings. Now, if I hit, uh, if I tell it to list the directory, it will show you F2 setting dot ZST and work. Now you can see Z, the F2 setting ZST here, but you can't see work. So that's a hidden folder. So we're going to go ahead and change into work. Now, if I ask it to list the files in that directory, you'll see there is a file called 21113, that's the date, um, underscore 001.wav. 
that looks like it might be an audio file and it looks like it might be our missing audio file. So what we're going to do is I am going to copy this. So I'm going to go sudo cp and then I'm going to uh, write the name of this file and let it autocomplete. And then I'm going to change the working directory that I'm going to save it to because you don't really, you shouldn't really save audios that your audio files that you're working on um, on the same drive. You should save that somewhere else. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it rescuedfile.wav. And then if we go here, audio we fixed you'll see that there's a, a waveform audio there. But if I hit on the preview, it doesn't play it because it can't actually open that. If I try, if I was to try and open that with QuickTime or any of these other uh, programs, it would just go, no, there's nothing there, which is where Sox comes in. Sox is an open source program that you can install on, on any computer. I've got this on Mac OS. I installed it using Homebrew and it allows you to do lots of things with audio files in the command line. In this case, what we're going to do is tell Sox to read the audio file that we've just rescued, we've just made visible. Um, and we're going to use the ignore length command because that's what's corrupted. And that's why we don't have a functioning audio file. So I'm going to drag that in here and then I'm actually going to tell it to create. So the first file is the file that it's going to read and the last file is the file that it's going to make. Now I'm going to change obviously this audio file resurrected.wav. It's going to give me some errors but now if I go here and I click on resurrected you'll see that it is actually a fixed audio file and if I open that file with uh, let's go with rx9 you'll see that that audio file actually opens as it should now the very end of the file the very end of the recording which is essentially when the crew was saying goodbye and we'll see you next time is actually missing it's corrupted it's not there it's not recoverable but the rest of this 36 38 minute audio file has been fixed has been um, repaired has been saved and that means that we can actually mix it far better and it means we don't have to try and resurrect or recreate that person's microphone by taking audio from the two people who were standing closest and then boosting the levels and doing all kinds of horrible things we've actually got a working audio file that we can work with so I hope that works for you if you are in a bit of a pickle and you're using an f2 and you thought you recorded and it's not showing up don't record anything new onto the card. Just put it in um, a computer, maybe make a backup of the, of the SD card before you start using it. But then you've got this hidden file. Um, and just so that you know, again, it's in, um, whoops, it's in a folder called F2 settings. So CD F2 settings, and then CD work, and then in there is your hidden file. Take care.